business, if we want to make big improvements to performance in terms of sustainability, we need to focus our attention on the biggest sustainability challenges faced by the value chain. To do this, we need to look at what we call sustainability hotspots, which basically describe the most significant sustainability impacts in the value chain or the life cycle of a product. With this information, we can begin to look for opportunities for improvement and also to prioritize impact reduction actions. Here's how we get started. The first step is to create a life cycle inventory by looking at each phase of a product's life cycle. This could be from materials to manufacturing, transport, use and disposal. Identifying during each phase the activities which take place and listing the inputs and outputs to these activities. The lifecycle thinking template within the Eco Innovation Manual can help you with this. The second step is to describe the sustainability impacts which you have outlined in the lifecycle inventory. This means thinking about environmental, social and economic issues which are all very important to Eco Innovation. Next, we need to evaluate the significance of the impacts which you have identified. To do this, to help evaluate the significance of these impacts, you need to give each one a rating of low, medium or high impact. Once you've done this, look at the cells in the lifecycle thinking template and the activities which lead to high or medium impacts. These represent sustainability hotspots. Now, identifying sustainability hotspots is a challenging but critical activity within the eco-innovation process. So to help you get started, and you have a range of case studies to help you do this, take a look at the eco-innovation manual and the various sector supplements.